welcome back to my channel okay so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make three different kinds of simple syrup that you can use for your chocolate cake so I'm um, usually lately I've been like experimenting with simple syrups and everything and I really love how like they make my cakes come out and everything normally I don't use them but recently like I've been obsessed with them <laughs> okay so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make three different kinds of simple syrup for your chocolate cakes and these are delicious and will take your chocolate cakes to the next level so let's get started okay so guys the first thing we're going to be talking about is the coffee simple syrup so like you already know yeah coffee kind of accentuates the taste or the flavor of chocolate and it makes it really amazing so if you've never added choc um, coffee to your chocolate you should try it okay and you can also infuse coffee into your chocolate with this simple syrup so what you want to do is take a cup of water and then you need a cup of sugar okay so once you have a cup of water and a cup of sugar boiling you don't want to bring it too much to a boil then you want to add two tablespoons of coffee and i like to use ground coffee because it has these particles that when you apply it on top of your cake it kind of gives you this intense um coffee taste i don't know how to explain it but you can use espresso you can use regular coffee if you want but I like ground coffee even though it has like particles and everything like i just love it it's just i don't know so you can try different ones and see which one works for you You can buy the regular coffee you can buy espresso or you can buy just regular ground coffee plus it's a lot cheaper so you can try that so what you want to do is you need a cup of sugar one cup um one cup of water and then two full two hip full hip hip full yeah hip spoon tablespoonfuls <laughs> Of coffee and then you want to stir and bring it to a boil okay so when I do this I like to like stop like first of all pour it in um, like a ceramic plate or maybe a glass bowl yes so it can cool down a little before transferring it into um, a plastic bowl where I cover it and store it in the fridge and this saves for about two or three weeks yeah okay so the next one we want to talk about is the cinnamon simple syrup so what you need for that is one cup of water and added to that you need a cup of sugar yes it looks like i'm adding two cups of sugar and that's because the cup i'm using is half cup so i have to use two of it to make like one cup of sugar does that make sense okay so it's not two cups of sugar it's one cup of water one cup of sugar and then to that you're going to be needing three teaspoons like there's a difference between teaspoon and tablespoon i hope you guys know yeah so three teaspoons of cinnamon and then you're going to be adding it to your um to your pot and for this one you want to make sure you do this before boiling so like before putting it on the heat you want to put like two teaspoons of cinnamon and you want to stir it together with the sugar and the water the reason is because like if it's on the heat it tends to form lumps really fast so you want to stir it together and make sure it comes together first before transferring it to your heat sauce if that makes sense otherwise if you do it on your heat sauce like we did the first one it will form lumps and then like you don't want lumps because then you can not now like bite when you bite into your cake you might bite like um big chunks of cinnamon and that's just a weird taste it's a chocolate cake you don't want to you just want a hint of cinnamon you don't want you don't you don't, you don't want it to be overwhelmed with cinnamon flavor you get okay so you want to stay completely and make sure there are no lumps completely before you transfer you fight your heat sauce so it's important for me to mention at this point that like once there are no once there are no um lumps then you transfer it to your heat sauce you want to like once it, you just want to bring it to a boil slightly you don't want it to boil down because if you leave it to boil for too long some of the water evaporates which makes it a little bit too sweet and reduces the quantity of your of your simple syrup so you just want it to come to a boil lightly so everything can be well combined and everything and it has this amazing flavor when you make this i swear to god for like three four days the old kitchen will smell of cinnamon like everything in the kitchen kind of takes the smell of cinnamon and it is amazing like it's like cheap air freshener <laughs> kind of and it is awesome so once you're done with this you want to transfer it into your plate and then yes you want to transfer it into your glass bowl and then transfer it into your um your container for safekeeping it's important to mention at this point that when you make the cinnamon one it kind of thickens up more than the regular simple syrup like it kind of thick thickens like 
a little bit drawy i don't know if drawy makes any sense to you guys but like just a little bit drawy and stuff so normally i don't make this in like big batches maybe just like one batch because I, I don't think i've kept it for more than two or three days at a time so you want to keep that in mind okay so of course you know the honorable mention is the regular plain simple syrup <laughs> It works for almost any kind of cake you want to make actually and it is amazing it doesn't add any extra flavor but it adds some extra sweetness and some extra moisture to your cake so the regular simple syrup so you're going to be needing one cup of sugar and one cup of water very simple and usually if it's maybe um a cake that might um like maybe a wedding cake or a cake that might be left for long what i like to do at this point is to add maybe a teaspoon or a tablespoon of vodka or lemon extract that kind of like helps you like increase the shelf life of your cakes as well so if you're looking to increase the shelf life of your cake maybe you won't be eating it very soon so you can also impute in these some um, preservatives so like when you apply to your cake you're also like applying you're applying some sweetness some moisture and some extra like preservation to the cake so it's really awesome so we've talked about the coffee simple syrup the cinnamon simple syrup and the plain simple syrup for your chocolate cakes so if you try this out please don't forget to maybe let me know and like just tell me what you think about it in the comment section or check me out on instagram and then i also have a video on how like you can make four different kinds of simple syrups for vanilla cakes that are awesome and you love so i'm going to put the link right up here it says click on me yeah click on that and check it out and let me know as well okay so guys that's all we have to do today we have the coffee simple syrup i think for me personally the coffee simple syrup for chocolate cakes is my favorite yeah it gives it this really awesome intense chocolatey flavor yeah you think you taste the coffee a lot but you actually won't taste the coffee that much you taste the chocolates more but it like accentuates the flavor of the chocolate cake and just makes everything come together really well <laughs> okay so guys thank you for always watching my videos and i have um another video on simple syrup for you guys four different kinds of simple syrup just regular simple syrups that you can use for your cake and you can decide which is best for you so i'm going to put the link right up here make sure to check that out as well if you're looking for you know ideas for your cake business and like how to like improve your cake experience for your customers and everything so that's all we have today we have the plain one we have the coffee one and then we have the cinnamon one okay so guys don't forget to follow me on instagram as double underscores like two underscores then kick me away yes and remember to subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up for this video i love you guys and bye